So I'm going to show you how to do a scatter plot on a TI-84+. So I grabbed some data off the internet, and this is the um, minimum wage historically in Washington State. And it goes back to, well, I took back to 1999 through 2014. And I think just because I want to be lazy about it, I'm going to cross off that bottom one. So then I can actually have my data go for years since 2000. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is input all of this data. And since I have two variables going on, I have a year and a minimum wage, I need two columns. I need two sets of data. So the first thing I'm going to do, and I know that it's blurry, but try to figure out where I'm going on the calculator. So it says stat. Even if you have a different version of a calculator, it probably has a statistics menu on it somewhere. So the first thing you do is you go to stats, and then you need to edit. So that's the very first thing. So across the top, there are three different menus, edit, calc, and tests. We're going to edit, and then within the edit menu, we could do these five things, but we're going to edit first. Oh, we might use that clear list to get rid of data, but that's okay. Well, there's another way. So edit. So L1 and L2 are the two lists that I'm going to use. If you have an 86, a TI-86 calculator, it might say X stat and Y stat, uh, and that's fine. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to notice I just arrowed up to the L1 so that it's highlighted up there, and it's listed across the bottom. So I'm going to clear and enter. So that gives me a nice clean slate, and I'm going to do the same thing for L2. So I just used my right arrow to go over, up arrow to highlight the L2, clear over here on the right side, and enter. Okay, so here's what I'm going to input. I'm going to put my dates in L1, and I'm just going to put the year, and I'm just going to put the years since 2000. So if I start at the top and go work down this way, my first number will be 14, then 13, then 12. Okay, and I'm going to hit enter in between. So 14, 13, 12. Be sure to input the zero. It makes a difference, right? We have to count that 2,000. So now I need to do the corresponding minimum wage. So I'm going to right arrow to get into my L2 column. And notice it's right across, right? So now I'm highlighted right across from the 14. So I need to put in the year 14 minimum wage. So that was 9.32. And then for 2013, that was 9.19, and 9.04, and 8.67, and 8.55. So these I'll read out because I know they're too blurry to see. 2009, you check, make sure we're on the right track. 2009 is 8.55, and 8.07, and 7. 0.93 and 7.63 and 7.35 and 7.16, 7.01, 6.90, 6.72, 6.50. And we lined up, and if you're right, they leave off the trailing zeros, which I should have done when I was inputting, but I was on a roll. Okay, so now all of my data is input, and now I need to go look at, you ready? Stat plot. Right up here, it's a right in blue above my Y equals button. It says stat plot. So I'm going to go and look at, so second, to get to the blue function, second Y equals, and here are my different stat plots. So they all are off, so I'm just going to select one. So I'm going to select it by hitting enter when it's highlighted. And so now plot one, and I'm going to turn it on, so the on's flashing. And as soon as I arrow down, notice the on is highlighted, so that's what we're doing. So you'll see here, these are the six, I'm using my right arrow, the six types of graphs that our calculators will do for us. So a scatter, this first one is the scatter plot. We also have, I think that's a line graph, a histogram. I'm not quite sure what that is. 
maybe a box and whiskers and a box and whiskers with the median input. I don't know what that one is either, but I know I want the scatter plot. So I'm going to go so down, highlight it on my scatter plot, enter, and now I'm going to come down here. So what I'm doing is a time series graph. So I want my time to be along the x-axis. So my x list is right, I put my years in L1, so I'm going to keep that L1. My minimum wage is going to be, right, I'm going to see how that changes over time. So I'm going to have my different minimum wages in, right, the y position. So y list is L2. And then you can choose which of these three marks to put there by hitting enter. Now I want to go check my window because who knows what I've been using this calculator for. And let's just see what we need to see. So my x min, right, negative 5. Well, I don't have any negative time. In fact, I start at 0 and I go to 14. So I'm going to start at 0 and I'll go to 15. And I'll have a slash every 1. My y doesn't start until 6.5. But maybe I want to start at 5. Give myself a little breathing. Oh, that was supposed to be a 1. I just didn't narrow down. So maybe I want to start at 5 and go all the way out to 10. And I guess we can keep that at 1. I might come back and change this a little bit if I don't see what I want to see. OK. And then just because, again, I might have something in here from before. I think I have a y equals that I'm going to go erase. So I'm going to hit my y equals and just clear out that function. And now I'm going to hit graph. And hopefully, ta-da, there is our time series graph. And if you're wondering how you do a stat plot, it is exactly like this. You just choose which letter is going to be which variable is on the x-axis and which one is on the y-axis, and you plot it. As you can see, and as you would expect, it looks like there's a positive linear relationship between time since 2000 and minimum wage. It's going up at a fairly linear rate. All right.